Good morning from Yummy B TV. Wishing you all well today. Sending loads of love as usual. A bit of clarification on yesterday's video. Headline, why hasn't Levi Belfield been done yet in prison? Well, we rephrased that to uh, why hasn't he been done properly? Because obviously there's been two headline attacks that have happened to him over the period of time that he's been in custody. Now, we look at number one, which was in 2009 in Wakefield by two blokes that I know that are not sexual offenders and that they were in Wakefield uh, for different reasons, uh, being a pest in all the other categories. We know what, we know some people do it like that and you get moved around and the only option op is open at that time. Just because they were in Wakefield, it doesn't mean that they're on the Rule 43 or they're sexual offenders, if you get what I mean. So he's in isolation in Wakefield. So he is being escorted and then Two geezers come running up on him, but you decide to do it physically. No, no, no. I get it, yeah, at that at that stage, you know, because you, you, if there's only one way to do it and you don't want to get extra bird for it, blah de blah de blah But as we know, the screws didn't really care, did they? So they tried to add a, throw some punches or whatever. I ended up in a wrestle. He claims compensation and gets four and a half thousand pounds. For that, in 2009, in Wakefield. Now, the clarification of what happened in Franklin, normal, vulnerable, Rule 43 wing in Franklin. Not in segregation and isolated on his own. He gets cut above his eye. With the big headline, Belfield nearly loses an eye, you know, dramatically. But no, you never really, really lost an eye. It was a cut on your eyelid. Uh, it missed by a couple of millimetres, uh, but you ended up not really getting that much, if you get what I mean. Not that I preach a lot of violence uh, on Yami B TV. I'm just answering the questions. Do you get me? So you could claim, you could claim... Oh, I won't say that bit. You claimed because when you're under, you, you claimed in 2009 because you're under, you're meant on the grounds that they are meant to keep me safe. Safe? You never kept no one safe your whole life. You big coward. So, so you claim for that, the, the, the screws, right? They paid four and a half thousand pounds for that little stupid assault that didn't even go that well, right? But you know, they're like, oh, it's not hard money anyway, you're gonna have that little bit, yeah. What happened in Franklin is on normal, vulnerable prisoners where everybody's around, so you're not actually in isolation. So you get into your, yeah, yeah, you, you know what I mean? You, come on, man, you talk, you know what I mean? Because you feel like you you can bully all the vulnerable prisoners or whatever, someone's not gonna have it. Or, like Bamba, someone sent someone across, Someone coming, because you remember, you can easily say, yeah, I, can I sign up? I'm scared to stay on normal location. I want to sign up to 43 for my own protection. But really, he's going over there to do it here. You see what I mean? Because uh, he's been paid. So then he'll go over there and then he cuts you in your eye. You've never lost your eye, but you can't claim for that. Because many fights happen on normal location and those wings there where screws are not about. Uh, you can't say, well, I got into a fight or well, you got, I suppose you could try and press charges or whatever, but you would need real, real evidence. Uh, and uh, there's not many that are going to really be doing that. So that was the clarification of that. Now, also, the insult to victims of crime, right? Being raped. Being assaulted, being battered, all right, yeah, I mean, Samson, on the hand, being burgled, being robbed, you know, whatever, whatever. When they people get convicted of crimes, you know, of historic abuse things and all that, they turn them down, and you don't get no compensation. Or when you're being raped, the compensation you get is miserly, if at all. But yet you could do all the things that you have done. But yet you could go to prison and you get hurt after hurting everybody for a lifetime in your life. That you could um, claim compensation and get it. 
what does that say about our, the, about the system in itself anyway? Especially when you fall into the category of those kind of offenders. Now, if you've had an accident and it's the prison's fault, medically, you know, injury, slipping on something, falling on something, you know, something was unsafe, there was a loose uh, bit on the staircase, you know, there's been claims where somebody's... Um, um, and thinking up and they step into something that should be fixed and then you could claim for that because that if that does the um, danger hazards and health hazards you have a right to claim for those things there because you shouldn't be allowed to work around those areas if they're unsafe if you get what i mean but how dare you when you get done when you get cut when you be thinking, you remember I got stabbed in Swellside way back in the day. You remember the big story? And they come to me. You think I'm going to say, oh, yeah, look, I got stabbed. Oh, any chart, I want to press charges. I want to go and get me some money for it and all that kind of shit. Come on, man. And, uh, and after all the inflation, you're talking about he's, he's converting to, to RR and he's going to be thinking. Anyway, it's a different story anyway, but I'm sure you know what I mean. Clarification coming up more today. A uh, bit of travelling to do, but I'll be up with more content after. Loads of love. Good morning to you all.